Assalamu alaikum guys how are you I hope you are doing good and welcome to another video in this video finally we have a fully stable almost fully stable build of oxygen OS 10 it is a port from the oneplus 7 as you can see here it's android version is 10 it's uh, oxygen OS version is also 10 and it is working pretty much better from the previous one and its security patch is 1st March 2020 as you can see here its model name is Rosie Redmi 5 first of all let's talk about the performance stability and bugs and issue of this ROM so the performance of this ROM is really dope everything is just working fine and this ROM, the ROM is pretty lagless and uh, the overall performance of this ROM is also good as you can see here I have installed all my applications and they are working pretty good and in the bugs we have only three bugs first one is the Bluetooth audio issue uh, you can use it you can connect with other devices but if you connect with the audio device then it will never work on this device and the second one is uh, you can never use uh, the pin if you want to use the pin as screen lock then it will be a little laggy and buggy and the third bug is uh, the SD card content will not be shown in this ROM so except this uh, bugs everything is just working fine gaming performance is also good every single thing is, is working fine and in the launcher here we have the oneplus launcher with amazing settings like you can change the launcher layout to home screen only or home screen and app drawer and you can also hide the applications and you can also select the icon pack from this settings then we have widgets and wallpapers in the wallpaper we have only one wallpaper but you can install really amazing live wallpaper from my previous videos then the op app opening speed of this room is also good as you can see here it is opening the apps quickly and in the camera we don't have any camera installed in this room there is no any camera pre-installed in this room if you want to install any gcam mode then you can install from the link in the description or you can install any custom camera on this room now let's dig into the settings in the quick settings we have a lot of uh, useful shortcuts and it really looks uh, pretty nice and in the settings we have search bar then we have in Wi-Fi and network then we have Bluetooth and devices and uh, then we have the display section in the display first of all we have the adaptive brightness brightness level sleep screen collaboration from here you can change uh, screen profiles then we have the notch display then we have night light which is working fine then we have the reading mode which is also working good and you can also choose the reading mode type to monoscope or chromatic effect then we have the video enhancer which will be helpful to enhance this video quality ambient display in the ambient display we don't have always on display and do not uh, change the font size and display scaling it will break your dpi and then we have the status bar from here you can change the battery style you can also enable or disable the battery percentage display network speed time and icon manager then we have auto rotation and screen saver after it we have customizations from here you can change the theme to vibrate tints illuminating light or then you can change the wallpaper then you can change cloak style uh, then you can also <laughs> change the fingerprint animation from here you can change the accent colors you can also play with advanced settings then we have the tone from here we have three options first one is the colorful light and third one is the dark 
then you can also change the style style of system icons you can and you can also apply any custom kernel and you can change the font style then we have sounds and vibration the sound quality of this rom is good and here we also have dolby at most pre-installed in this rom then we have earphone settings and some ringtone and volume settings then we have the buttons and gestures here we have alert slider and navigation bar and gestures from here you can also uh, use the back home and recent three button navigation bar now it has been fixed and it is working fine and if you want to use the gesture you can use the navigation gesture left and right for back and you can also use the navigation gesture fully uh, bottom and you can also hide the pill to get the seamless full screen display then we have the quick gestures some of these are working and then we have the quick turn on camera and some assistant settings then we have the apps and notifications from here you can manage your applications app permissions and notifications then we have the lock security and lock screen the fingerprint of this device is working pretty much good it is unlocking the device quickly as you can see here and face unlock is not working so then we have the privacy location battery and the battery performance of this rom is also good and here we have battery saver and battery optimization the performance of this rom is really impressive then we have some other settings and utilities here we have quick launch parallel apps and app locker i like it because they uh, give us the app lock in the room then we have the system in the system we have accessibility languages and input date and time backup reset options otg storage and multiple user developer options and ram booster then we have about phone from here you can check your device specifications your device name the developer name and the developer did a really good work in this room so a very big thumb up for neon and its android version is 10 as you can see here its security patch is 1st march 2020 and uh, its oxygen os version is uh, 10 As you can see here it's under uh, oxygen os version is 10.3.2 and uh, here we have pikachu 1.3 plus kernel pre-installed in this rom so the rom is pretty stable and recommended for daily user you can use it, this as your daily driver so if you want to install this rom on your redmi 5 just download the rom and flame gf's basic edition from the link in the description and reboot your device into any installed custom recovery by pressing and holding power button plus volume up button i recommend you to use the xstore twrp recovery after going into the recovery go to wipe go to wipe click on advanced wipe and from here wipe everything except the internal storage and sd card after wiping go to install and locate your downloaded rom just install the rom and go back to install and flash downloaded flame gs basic edition after installing gapps click on reboot and click on system it can give you a boot loop but don't worry so after rebooting into the rom uh, the rom will be installed on your device so hope you like this video if you really did hit the like button don't forget to subscribe my channel keep supporting thanks for watching
please also follow me on instagram i really need your support so keep going and uh, please stay at homes to save your lives and peace